Past student and coach of the St. Martin de Porres Roman Catholic School, Carrington Simeon, last week donated new sports uniform for the athletes who will compete in Tuesday's Nexa GUT Primary School Sports at Lasages. St. Martin de Porres Roman Catholic School, formerly known as Crochu RC School, has won the St. David's Parish Sports on a number of occasions, including in 2023. Simeon, who now resides in the United States of America, says he will forever be grateful to the teachers of the institution for their role in his upbringing. Therefore, supporting the school will never be a burden to his family. He led the school to its first branch championship 15 years ago. It's a joy to be here to present this uniform to the Crochet RC School. Discipline is the key to success. If you don't have discipline, you don't go nowhere. You could be the fastest athlete. Principal Kester Lyons challenged the students to use their new uniforms as motivation to be the best ambassadors for their school. I want to use this opportunity to thank Mr. Simeon for his contribution and also for his human service to this institution, especially in the field of sports. Now, of course, Mr. Simeon would have served here before my time as principal. But I've heard a lot of stories about Carrington and how disciplined he had the students when they were training and preparing to be a part of the team. And so to you, our boys and girls, I want to use this opportunity to remind you that as you go out on, on next Tuesday, you are our ambassadors. You are the ones that are going to be representing St. Martin the Poorest Catholic School. You must stand proud. You must go out and do your very best. You must compete. And while we may not win in every race in Lassa Jess, but we will win the sports. Parliamentary Representative Mrs. Emmeline Pay and District Education Officer Mrs. Colin Aben Marshall attended the handover ceremony. They too had some words of encouragement for the students. Every person has a choice. They can choose to do good. They can choose to do bad. And I'm sure this morning you are saying you are going to choose to do good. Every person has a choice. Every adult has a choice as well to do good or to do bad. And so when I tell you I'm celebrating, I'm celebrating Simeon this morning. He has chosen to do good. He has a big heart. You know, there are some people, whatever they have is for just them. As we would say, them and them alone. He has a big heart. He likes to give. Right? And so I say to you this morning, what he has given to you, what he has given to you, make him proud. Make your community proud. Make your teachers proud of what you are going to do. And as Teacher Yvette said, I'm looking forward. I'm going to celebrate again next Friday because I don't care whether you're running in the constituency or not. You are from this constituency and I'm 100% behind you as you claim victory next week Friday. When past students, when members of our community choose to give back, it is because not just because they have a lot of money to give, because sometimes it's not a lot of money, but what they have is a lot of love and a lot of care about what happens to you. And from what I'm hearing, what Mr. Lance would have related to me when he told me about this handover, it is without a doubt that Mr. Carrington cares about what happens to you students. He cares about the well-being of this school. And so we need more people to care. And as you grow up, when you leave the school, I want to remind you that you too have a responsibility to give back. On behalf of the Ministry of Education, sir, I want to thank you for this gift of love and sacrifice and care to the St. Martin de Porres Catholic School. Students, take good care of it, and I wish you well as you not only represent the school, but you represent all those who have gone before you who continue to pour in to your education and your success. The donation included 153 pieces of uniforms with matching caps and several cases of bottled water.